Welcome back to Driveway Garage. I'm going to show you how to take the engine cover off of a 2001 Lexus RX 300. I was just trying to figure this out so I can take a look under there and I'll show you what I came up with. So there's the engine cover. V6 3004 Cam 24 blah blah blah. Anyway, there's three holes in the front. And in those three holes there are these nuts. They're threaded on one side. Let's see if I can get a better view here. Maybe if we go in the shade, I don't know. See how it's threaded? But on the other side, the part you have to take out, it's an Allen. And I wasn't sure what size the Allen was, so I started putting it into different sockets. And it fits perfect into a five millimeter socket. So I'm guessing it's a five millimeter Allen wrench. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. The way you get them out is, of course you can't get a lot of leverage with that little stubby thing. So what I did is I put that on into the uh, slot for the bolt or the Allen wrench. And then I took and I have trouble thinking today. My crescent wrench, tightened it down on there, put it on there, and then I broke it loose. They came by, came apart pretty easy. And uh, once you get them broke loose, you can just turn them easy by hand. Hopefully they're, yours are as easy as these are to get off. And it doesn't take much to get them loose. And once they're loose, oops, is it gonna come out of there? Well, if it doesn't come out of there, I'll have to use my magnet. The others came right out. Of course, this one will give me problems, right? Come on. If I can get it up enough there, put a little pressure on with my finger. Now, I'll put those in a safe spot. So, not someplace they'll roll off and you'll never see them again. And I'm assuming once you get those out, although I don't know for sure because I've never taken this off, you just pull up on it. It's probably just held in there by some grommets of some sort. There we go. And now I can look at my engine. And it looks like three of the spark plugs would be pretty easy to access and replace. And I'm guessing the other three are buried there's a few, your fuel injectors fuel rail yeah i'm guessing the others are on the back there and they're going to be a booger to get to um anyway i just want to show you how to get that cover off i won't go on and a bunch of other stuff because i'm just i just bought this and i'm just trying to figure out everything on it i made another video on uh the O2 sensor up front here because there it is because I've got a check engine light says both of my upwards O2 sensors are bad it's possible I hope it's something that simple anyway that's how you take the cover off I think next thing I'm going to do is take these spark plugs out see what they look like the guy that I bought this from maintained it pretty good. He took it to the Toyota dealership, so I don't think I'll have a lot of other problems. That looks like a vacuum line that's about ready to go. It's pretty dried and cracked, so that might have to be replaced, but little by little, I'm going to keep this as my daily driver and just work on things and try to make sure everything's roadworthy. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh... Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. It helps me out. Oh, look at that. Look at that junk under here. wonder what that's from. Some kind of foam insulation. There's another piece. There's another piece. Probably looks like it might have went around the oil fill cap. Nope, it's not that. Let's look underneath here and see what it goes to. Oh, yeah. It was the foam ring that went around the cover that goes to the oil ring cap probably to seal it off somewhat 
it's all dried out and cracked and I noticed the uh, Lexus emblem which is now it's about ready to fall off just sitting there anyway 21 years old so you know it's gonna have wear and tear thanks for watching guys have a good one